In the previous episode, we reviewed what are the constituent elements in the block being used for the building of your house, the basic components, storage requirements, and the correct proportion for the mixture of these components. In this episode, we will reveal the truth about substandard block production. As housing demands increases in Nigeria, cement block production has become a lucrative business and for many, it is another opportunity to make extra money. The resultant effect of this is the substandard approach to block making perpetuated by those who are excessively driven for profit. A block maker says, okay, I have 20 bags of cement and I want to manufacture blocks. And he tells himself, I want to be able to cash out pretty well. He alters the ratio and is altering it not because of any structural advantage. Mm. It's an economic advantage. So if he decides to stretch the number of blocks he's able to manufacture part time, um, if I have one bag of cement, how much can I push it to make the maximum profit? Now, what constitutes what we would call substandard blocks? It's basically in the mix. It's basically in the process by which it is manufactured. Research findings have shown that some of the major reasons for the production of substandard blocks are the inconsistency in the quality of the cement being used, lack of basic technical knowledge and adequate training for the workers, lack of functional tools and basic raw materials, unethical cost-cutting measures, non-standardization of processes and production components. So we don't necessarily talk in specific ratios when you talk about substandard. It's when you talk about standards, that's why we call them standards, because they're standard for a mix, they're standard for the content of the water, the quality of the water, the quality of other materials that you had to the cement. But when you say substandard, there's no standard here. It's basically what makes economic sense to the people producing it. Some of these reasons are more recurrent and have far more reaching consequences than others. Most of the time when you produce some of these blocks, first and foremost, the quality of the materials is subject. It's, it's subject to the economics behind it for them. Then over and beyond that, somebody comes to you and says he needs block. And the guy says, you've started manufacturing, you'll get it tomorrow. It's the same block he's talking about that he's manufacturing right now. So basically you're getting less than 24 hours or just barely 24 hours of curing time. They send it to your site and you use it immediately. Now, if you're talking about the quality of blocks, that's the answer for you there. It's not so much, I mean, over and beyond the constituent materials that go into block manufacture, there's also a post-production issue that needs to be added to, which is the continuous waiting and the curing time, which eventually allows the block to gain full strength before it's used on site. Therefore, to ensure the production of cement blocks that will conform to standard specifications, cement block manufacturers must employ the services of skilled workers, adopt standard industry procedures, whilst paying attention to ethical practices during the production processes. In the next episode, we will show you how to make a standard cement block.